Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us be sorry for our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth, and how no desire that his heart conceived was ever anything but evil, he regretted that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was grieved. 
So the Lord said, I will wipe out from the earth the men whom I have created, and not only the men, but also the beast and the creeping things and the birds of the air. For I am sorry that I made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone in this age have I found to be truly just. Of every clean animal, take with you seven pairs, a male and its mate, and of the unclean animals, one pair, a male and its mate. Likewise, of every clean bird of the air, seven pairs, a male and a female, and of all the unclean birds, one pair, a male and a female. Thus, you will keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now, I will bring rain down on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord you, sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and his temple all say, Glory! The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, watch out, Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, 
Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts, trub are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand? How many weaker baskets full of fragments have you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today talk about forgetfulness. Our gospel begins with these words, the disciples had forgotten to bring bread. And this triggered Jesus to make a discourse about the failure of the disciples to understand and to remember. They thought that Jesus was a bit upset because they forgot to bring bread. And so Jesus tried to explain to them, do you not remember the times that I multiplied the bread? Have you forgotten that I have the power to multiply the bread for thousands of people? He made his disciples remember because they have forgotten. Our first reading today is about the story of Noah and the flood. God decided to wipe out from the earth all his creatures because of their wickedness, because they turned away from him, because they forgot who God is, and so their forgetfulness led them to commit sins and abominations against God. Nakalimutan ng mga tao ang kanilang tipan sa Panginoon. Nakalimutan ng mga tao ang pagbamahal ng Panginoon na lumikha sa kanila. Kaya sila'y tumalikod at nagkasala laban sa Panginoon. My dear brothers and sisters, we are all forgetful. Lahat naman po tayo makakalimutin. Wala namang taong naaalala ang lahat. Wala namang taong hindi nakakalimot. Kaya nga minsan nakakatuwa yung mga taong galit na galit sa makakalimutin. Pero nakakalimutan, siya rin naman maraming nakakalimutan. We are all forgetful. But we must be careful because forgetfulness is one of the causes of sin. Ang pagiging makalimutin, kadalasan nagdadala sa atin sa kasalanan. When we forget who God is, when we forget the commandments of God, when we set aside our relationship with God, then it is already very easy for us to commit sin. Kalimutan mo ang Diyos, tanggalin mo ang Diyos sa iyong isip at sa iyong buhay, napakadali ng magkasala. 
But not only forgetfulness of God, but also forgetfulness of our relationship with one another. The moment we forget that we are brothers and sisters, the moment we forget who we are and how we should relate with one another, then it is already very easy for us to hurt one another. Remember our first reading yesterday about the story of Cain and Abel. Magkapatid, but Cain forgets that Abel is his brother. And at that moment that he forgets, then it is already very easy for him to kill his brother. Ang pagkalimot, madaling magtulak sa atin sa kasalanan. Kapag ang isang lalaking may asawa, kinalimutan ang kanyang commitment sa kanyang asawa, napakadali ng magkasala laban sa kanyang asawa. Kapag ang isang taong nakatalaga sa Diyos, kaming mga pari, mga relihiyoso at mga relihiyosa, the moment we forget our vows to God, then it is already very easy for us not to be faithful to our calling and to our vocation. Kapag nakalimutan natin yung mga values natin bilang mga Kristiyano, napakadali nang magpadala sa tukso at mahulog sa kasalanan. Forgetfulness causes us to sin. My dear brothers and sisters, tomorrow will be Ash Wednesday. We will enter into the holy season of Lent. The Alleluia that we sang before the Gospel will be the last Alleluia that we will sing until Easter. Tomorrow, ashes will be imposed on us. And ashes are reminders of who we are. We are dust. We are just dust. And yet, they also remind us of the nobility of our being dust. Because even though we are just dust, we are loved by God. And we should not forget that we are nothing but God sent His only Son to redeem us. Sino ba naman tayo? Walang wala. Pero ang Diyos labis tayong minamahal. We should never forget that. Because the moment we forget that, then we will cut off our relationship with God and we will cut off our relationship with one another. My dear brothers and sisters, fidelity to God is about remembering God. Loving one another is also about remembering our commitment to each other. The moment we forget, it is so easy for us to break our fidelities, our commitments, and to fail in love. Let us prepare ourselves to enter the season of Lent, a season that invites us to remember the marvelous words of God, the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus for us and for our salvation. May we never forget, may we always remember the love of God for us. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. 
For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by, the, by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us pray for the people who need our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, we wish to remind everyone that tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, and our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 7.30 in the morning, 12.10 in the afternoon, and 5.30 in the afternoon. All Masses will be live streamed on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We also wish to remind everyone that tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, is a day of fasting and abstinence. Those who are 18 years old to 59 years old are bound to fast. That means they will only eat one full meal tomorrow. And those who are 14 years old and above are bound to abstain from meat. And these are external manifestations of our sorrow for sins as well as our desire to be of help to do charity to others. Hindi lamang po pag sa sakripisyo ang kwaresma, pag damihan din natin ang paggawa natin ng mabuti, pagdamay at pagtulong sa ating kapwa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Give our yes.